This video presents solutions to the VCE 2021 Mathematical Methods Written Examination 2, Section B, Question 2. The function q of x can be simplified using the log of a minus log of b equals log of a over b with little factorization. This logarithmic expression will be defined when its argument is positive, which, based on its factorization, will be when x plus 1 is negative, i.e. when x is less than minus 1. Checking that the numerator and denominator, both being arguments of logarithmic expressions, are positive, the domain of q is from negative infinity to negative 1. For this domain, q of x can be simplified further. This function is a transformation of y equals log base e of x, reflected in the x-axis and translated left one unit. As such, q will have the same range as log base e of x, which is the reals. Part B, Part 1. The thinking in Part A and the calculations for Part B can be aided by a graph of the function in the ClassPads Graph and Table app. The equation of the tangent to the graph of q when x equals minus 2 can be calculated by tapping analysis, then sketch, and choosing tangent. Type in the x value of minus 2, tap OK to enter the value, then execute to complete the calculation. Part B, Part 2. The line referred to in this part is the normal to the graph through the point minus 2, 0 the point of tangency from part 1. The equation of this line can be found in a similar way, tapping analysis and then sketch, and this time choosing normal. Part C. This question now concerns itself with a new function, p of x, which is not a one-to-one -one function, as it has a minimum value of 0, 0, as shown in the graph on the following page. This means that for some value x1 less than 0 and some x2 greater than 0, f of x1 will be equal to f of x2. Part D. The gradient of the tangent to the graph of p at the point x equals a can be found by calculating the value of its derivative at that point. From the ClassPads main app, enter the function Select it and choose Interactive Calculation Differentiation Part E. Part E involves angles formed by the line y equals x plus 2 and the tangent to the graph of p at x equals a. The line y equals x plus 2 makes an angle of 45 degrees with the x-axis. If the angle between the line and the tangent is 60 degrees, then the angle between the tangent and the positive x-axis is 105 degrees. Being the external angle of a triangle, these lines make with the x-axis. The fact that the gradient of the tangent at A is equal to the tan of the angle that it makes with the positive x-axis generates an equation that can be solved for A. Making sure the class pad is set to degrees, this equation can be solved for A. As the answer is required to two decimal places, solve numerically can be selected in this instance.
A second solution for A can be obtained if the 60 degree angle between the tangent and the line is external to the triangle. In this construction, the angle in the equation is 165 degrees. Making this change, a second solution for A is obtained. Part F. Firstly, the intersection of the line y equals x plus 2 and the graph of p needs to be found. With this value known, the area bounded by the graph of p, the line y equals x plus 2 and the x-axis can be found. This can be done by evaluating the following definite integral.